So how's it guys, Robux here and welcome to a brand new episode on MotoGP19. So uh, this time we're going to be heading out for a Grand Prix at the Australian Grand Prix at the Phillip Island circuit. So um, it is the Grand Prix uh, this weekend, the Australian GP. So we're going to be doing a Grand Prix as uh, Fabio Quattararo, I think I'm going to do it was. I was thinking of Vinales since he dominated Friday practice, but uh, you know what? Quattararo has been an absolute boss the past few races, so thought why not? Let's do a, let's do a race as Fabio Quattararo. So that's who we're going to be, and we're going to be at the uh, Phillip Island circuit, of course. So let's get straight out there for a 25% race, starting from last place, and see how far up the grid we can battle our way. Right then, on the starting grid, Dovi is on pole position. What else could you expect? I'm going to go for hard, uh, no, medium tyres on this uh, Yamaha. Let's see if it works. You can see lined up on the grid. Everyone else gone for mediums as well. Petrucci throwing a soft on the rear. Marcus in second place, Rins third. So, let's do this then. Let's see what we can do. Starting from the back as Fabio Quattararo. So, let's push them. Get a decent launch. Control that wheelie, and if we can, we've got seven laps around here. It is a pretty short circuit, so uh, everyone's going to be piling into turn number one, so we're going to have to take it easy. It's been a while since I've raced on the, some of the lower M bikes, but it's a good, uh, good refresh, actually. Already up into P8, and it's been a while since I've been on Yamaha as well. So let's see if we can make this Yamaha work for us. Already up into P7, getting a classic Fabio Quattararo start of late. His form over the last three or four races has been absolutely fantastic. This season's been building up to it. And hopefully next season, you know, I don't know where he's going next season. I presume he's staying with Petronas Yamaha, but it would be awesome to see him on a factory bike. Could you imagine him at Honda or something like that? Oh, Yamaha can't afford to lose, to lose the talent of Quattararo. They need him on that factory bike. That's what they need. You can see we're already up into P6. I'm on the grass a little bit. Unless just Bargo goes down behind. A little bit deep. They're so going to be crossing the line then to end off lap number one. 34-5 from the Vizioso who leads from Petrucci, Marquez, Renza and then Rossi. Then we're in P6. I need to see if I can bridge this gap. That is going to be the hardest thing. And I'm getting out a little bit wide, but should be okay. Turn two. Southern loop. Do it pretty well. We've got Jack Miller behind. So our main focus now is going to be closing down the top five. Who are all on factory bikes. There's a Yamaha. There's the a Honda, there's a Suzuki, and then there's both Ducatis leading. So uh, the Ducati, obviously the quickest bike out front for both riders and that team to be uh, up on the Ducal, uh, up leading the race with the Ducati. But I mean, the Yamaha's quick with Rossi in this race and Marquez quick with the Honda. Rins quick with that Suzuki, but uh, Lorenzo Vinales and Mir on the other three factory bikes not really working also Crusher you guess you can class him as a factory bike he's got factory support for his Honda from HRC so uh, we're closing them in a little bit over the course of this lap that corner there really does catch me out can't take it the best but uh, we'll see what this lap time compares to Divizioso who's absolutely flying 28-4 from Dovi. 28-8 from us, so not too far off. We're on the pace. We're there or thereabouts with the pace, considering our team performance is like 80, 85%. All these guys have like 95%, 100%. I think the Suzuki has 90%. So, the focus is for me to keep on pushing. Not in much battling at the minute, because we are just trying to bridge this gap, which is going to be a big challenge this this race, so uh, let's get, uh, get our head down. Keep on pushing. Him. 
1.4 seconds to Valentino. Well, the final corner then. Been an okay lap. I think we've lost such a little bit. The front runners picked up the pace a little bit more. In fact, I dropped off the pace massively, I think. Can't afford to make any mistakes if we want to close down these guys. But we're in a bit of no man's land at the minute. We're in limbo, as they say. Now being caught by the guys behind, so I don't think we have the pace to go after the top five. There's Miller behind us. But we're first of the non-factory bikes, which is a good achievement for us. Obviously Quattro has been in like race winning positions and second place podium so solid results for him the past few races. Can't quite replicate that for him unfortunately in this race. We're on lap number four but we're closing, well pulling away from Miller again which is good. Not quite closing on Valentino though. Got some immense pace on that factory Yamaha. Wonder where Vinales is though. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> so down we go at the bottom of the hill. Just out break myself and then I, I answered my own question. There is Maverick Vinales so we're going to have to go after him. Drop down because of that mistake to P9. We were sitting comfortably in P6. That little mistake cost us so uh, let's push on. See if we can close the gap then. Lap number 5 now. 3 laps ago. 1.6 seconds is the gap. One point one seconds is the gap to Vinales then. Gotta keep this momentum going, you know. Out the final corner. This bike feels pretty planted. So nothing to worry about in terms of uh, stability, but performance. It's down on top end power, which matters down that front straight. Through the corners, it feels good though. Which is another positive, but uh, let's keep it going. 1.1 seconds, still the gap to Maverick Vinales. Not closing him down as quick as I'd like. Closing them down slowly, but surely. Only got one more lap after this one though, so uh, need to keep up the pressure. 0.6 of a second now is the gap. Good little run through there. Closing in onto the back of Vinales. Can we clear all three of these guys in one lap? That is the question. I don't know. It's going to be tough, you know. But finally onto the back of them. Turn 11 is a tough one for us. Managed it pretty well that time. Yeah, come on. Listen to this Yamaha sing. Marquez takes second place, splits the Ducatis. Oh, we've got the slipstream now on Maverick. And I'm going to get a screenshot as we make contact with him there. Ho, ho, Yamaha battle. Back to the action then as we um, pause it. We're on the brakes into turn one. This is the final lap. So let's see if we can clear Mir as well. We'll give him a little bit of a push there at turn two. We're not careful, Vinyard is going to get straight back under us. Desperately holding on, though. I'm going to slingshot up the inside. 
It's a bit better on the brakes. But I've got the inside line and we battle our way back through. Popping a little bit of a wheelie. Miller is next on our list to catch up to then. But we've got half a lap to do it. And Mir, if he comes back under us like that, we won't be able to get Miller. In fact, I don't know if we will be able to get Miller before the end of this Grand Prix. Going to have to really push it. Maybe send one down the inside at the bottom of this hill. Flick it to the outside, which will become the inside. Ho, ho, can't quite do it. It's going to be tough to do it around the final two corners. Especially when I can't get the front to grip on these worn tyres. Dovey takes the win then. Ho oh, ho, Mir's right behind us, I can hear that Suzuki. Weren't quite able to get Jack Miller then. He holds on. Oh, <laughs> down goes Quattarara at the end. We clip the pit wall somehow, but uh, we take seventh place. Not a bad result, actually. I would take that, not too bad. But uh, there we go. Hopefully, Quattarara gets on well at the actual GP this weekend. But uh, let me know what you thought of this video down below. We've got a new career mode coming. Tomorrow this will be uploaded on the Saturday and the Sunday will be the career mode and it's an exciting one so do tune in to the career mode tomorrow. So for now I will see you guys in the next one.